Alright, so in this series, I'm going to show you a bare bones way to do a crowd simulation. Um, we're going to run particles along a NURB surface, instance cycle geometry to those particles, and with a few expressions, get them to avoid certain areas. So let's get started. First, I'm going to turn this to 30 frames per second just out of preference. A nervous plane here. Scale it up and turn off my grid. All right. So if we go into component mode, we can find which way is our U. So it goes this way, and V goes this way. So we're gonna randomly spawn particles along this and drive them this way using goals and parent um, properties so let's create an emitter from object make sure it's surface make sure all our speeds are off create a window open select my out, uh, particle shape and in the attribute editor, it adds some custom attributes. Oh, per particle attributes. We want goal U, goal V, and parent U, and parent V. And then let's turn these to spheres so we can see what's going on. And then we have to make this a goal of the particles. So we'll select our particles, shift select our surface, particles create goal options, and make sure it's at one, and create. So now nothing crazy is going to happen yet. Everything's at zero because we have no expressions on our parent U or V. So let's go write some. Alright. First, let's start with you. We'll have this equal a random value between 0 and 1. And the reason I chose 0 and 1 create that quick is if you select your NURB surface and in the attribute editor you can see its U range is 0 to 1. If it's anything else these are the values you're going to want to use for your expression. So let's do this for parent B we don't want them to spawn any farther than just a little bit out, so write an appropriate value. Like point 0.1. Okay, and then to get them to stay on the surface, we'll write pull u equals parent u goal B equals parent B. And now they should start randomly spawning only on this edge, which is what we want. Now to get them to move across the surface, we're going to want to add a value to our V every frame. So in our runtime expression, Right, plus equals, taking whatever it was and adding to it. And, um, oh, let's just start with the point one. And then we'll have to remind our goal or update our goal.
No, all our particles. Oh, we got something wrong here. I bet I typed the wrong thing. Yep. Cool. V equals parent V. No, it should be better. Awesome. All right. So later on, when we want our uh, characters, um, our characters are going to have their own custom speed. So let's add that quick. Under here, general. We'll call it custom. float for the particle okay so now back in our creation expression um, if you update like your selection go from nerve surface or something back to the particle shape that zero one will disappear this, this is the one you want to write expressions on so we'll copy it down and for now, since we don't have any characters set up, we'll just put in a random value. Okay. I don't know if that's going to give me error, so get rid of that space. Looks good. And then we can just plug this in here. Now each one will have a random speed, but it won't accelerate and it'll stay at a constant speed. 